Hey guys, it's a fact that Goku will achieve a new transformation very soon in Dragon Ball Super, including because he will have to face none other than the great emperor of the universe, Frieza, who now has a new transformation that is being overestimated. They say he surpassed even the gods of destruction. But of course there is a good reason why they are putting this Frieza transformation up there, as he humiliated Goku Ultra Instinct and Vegeta Ultra Ego. So with that we come to the conclusion that Goku you will need to evolve your powers to be able to face this powerful enemy. And it is this new transformation of Goku that we will talk about in this video, so click like and subscribe to the channel, by activating the notification bell so you don't miss any news from the new Dragon Ball Super Saga, Beauty? Now without further ado, let's get started. This transformation would occur when Goku reaches an unimaginable level of power and temporarily loses control of his inner energy during an intense battle. In this state, he would transform into a gigantic giant ape like the Uzaru, but with a dark and sinister aura surrounding his body. His fur would be darker than ever, almost black, with glowing red eyes, conveying a feeling of pure ferocity. The ultra-dark giant ape would be an incredibly powerful form, surpassing even Beerus's power. Goku would have a massive increase in strength, speed and endurance, becoming practically invulnerable to conventional attacks. Furthermore, he would have the ability to control and manipulate the dark energy that surrounds him, allowing him to launch powerful beams of dark energy and create impenetrable force fields. In this state, Goku would temporarily lose his friendly and gentle personality. He would become aggressive, impulsive and more inclined to use his power to defeat his enemies at any cost. His hunger for battle would be insatiable, and he would be willing to face even his friends if they stood in his way. However, this transformation would have its drawbacks. Goku would lose his ability to think strategically and become an unstoppable destructive force. Furthermore, he would risk losing his humanity if he remained in this form for too long. The Ultra Dark Giant Ape would be unleashed at a critical moment in the next saga, when Goku is on the brink of total defeat against an unimaginable threat. His determination to protect his loved ones in the Earth would lead him to reach a level of power never seen before. However, this transformation would not be easy to control, and Goku would need training and experience to learn how to master it. While in Ultra Dark Giant Ape form, Goku would face a series of challenges and consequences. Goku would have difficulty controlling his aggression and animalistic instincts in Ultra Dark Giant Ape form. This would put him at risk of causing significant collateral damage and harming his allies. The transformation would have a limited time of use, as the dark power would quickly consume your vital energy. This would force Goku to be strategic in its use. Frequent use of the transformation would have a negative impact on Goku's mental health, making him more susceptible to being consumed by the darkness within. This could lead to internal conflicts and moral dilemmas. The introduction of the Ultra Dark Giant Ape could trigger a series of events in the story, including unlikely alliances and betrayals, as Goku and his friends struggle to understand and contain this new power. Goku's fight to control the Ultra Dark Giant Ape would be an opportunity for deep character development. He would have to face his own weaknesses and confront the inner darkness that all human beings have, exploring questions of identity, responsibility and morality. Throughout the saga, Goku would seek ways to balance his newfound strength with his friendly and gentle personality, learning to use the power of transformation for good rather than uncontrolled destruction. In the end, the Ultra Dark Giant Ape could be a powerful tool that Goku could access only when absolutely necessary, demonstrating his evolution as a warrior and his commitment to protecting his world and those he loves. Goku's journey to master the Ultra Dark Giant Ape transformation would be an essential part of the narrative in the upcoming Dragon Ball Super Saga. Here are some steps and challenges Goku would face to control this transformation. Initially, Goku would unleash the Ultra Dark Giant Ape in a time of extreme need, but without fully understanding what is happening. Upon returning to his normal form after the transformation, he would begin to investigate and understand the origins and dangers of this new form. Goku would seek guidance from wise mentors who have faced dark transformations or uncontrollable powers in the past, such as Whis or Elder Masters of other races. These mentors would help you understand the roots of your inner darkness and develop techniques to control your impulses. In addition to physical training, Goku would have to undergo intensive mental training to control his negative emotions and impulses. This could involve meditation, deep introspection, and directly confronting your past fears and traumas. Goku wouldn't master the transformation at once. He would learn to access ever greater parts of his dark power, gradually increasing his control. This would be shown in battles where he uses the Ultra Dark Giant Ape form in a more effective and controlled manner with each confrontation. Throughout the saga, Goku would face intense internal struggles while dealing with the temptation to give in to the darkness within. 
he would have to learn to keep his dark self in check and channel his power in constructive ways. Goku would not face this challenge alone. Your friends and allies would play a key role in helping you find the balance and strength needed to control the transformation. They would be there to support him on his journey and act as emotional anchors when he was in danger of losing control. The culmination of the saga would occur in an epic battle where Goku would need to use the Ultra Dark Giant Ape in a controlled and strategic way to defeat the saga's supreme threat. He would eventually master the transformation and use it to protect his world and those he loves, demonstrating a balance between light and dark. After the events of Black Frieza, Goku continued to train and challenge himself, constantly seeking new levels of power. He realized that his desire to become stronger could be his biggest weakness. An unknown and sinister energy began to manifest within him due to his relentless pursuit of power. Facing a cosmic enemy from another universe, Goku was forced to push himself beyond his limits once more. During the intense battle, he was driven by a deep rage and a burning desire to protect his family and friends. At this crucial moment, Goku unlocked a new form of transformation, the ultimate evil transformation or simply evil. Here are some characteristics of this evil transformation. Goku gains a black and dark blue aura. His eyes are similar to those of a villain, completely white, as if he was out of his mind, and black pupils. His hair turns completely white and his skin turns pale. This transformation grants Goku unrivaled power, surpassing all of his previous forms. He becomes so powerful that the energy emanating from him is capable of causing destabilization in the universe itself. Goku temporarily loses his sense of justice and morals, becoming a ruthless warrior thirsting for destruction. His personality is totally corrupted. He acts only in pursuit of his own combat satisfaction and power. With this power Goku is able to annihilate gods of destruction and angels with ease, defying all cosmic balance. The gods of destruction are terrified by the existence of this new form. However, Goku cannot maintain this transformation for long. The evil transformation is extremely unstable and consumes a massive amount of energy. Goku can only maintain it for a short amount of time, equivalent to 20 minutes, before his body begins to collapse. This form brings with it some consequences. Using this form leaves sequels in Goku after reverting to its normal form. He experiences extreme exhaustion, memory loss, and a deep sense of guilt for what he did while in this form. Goku, aware of the dangers of this new form, struggles to control it and only uses it in extremely critical situations. The gods of destruction and the angels, knowing of Goku's destructive power, begin to band together to find a way to seal this evil transformation before it threatens the existence of all universes. Thus, Goku's evil transformation becomes a central plot in a new Dragon Ball Super Saga, where he needs to find a balance between his desire for power and his responsibility to the multiverse, while the gods of destruction conspire to seal this threat. As Goku continues to utilize the evil transformation, he begins to understand more about it. He discovers that this sinister form is fueled by rage, a lust for power, and constant struggle. The more he uses it, the more it grows stronger, absorbing energy from the battles and conflicts he faces. At first, Goku can barely control the evil transformation, and it completely overwhelms him. He destroys enemies with ease, but also puts his own allies at risk. Over time, Goku begins to gain partial control over the transformation. He learns to release his evil power more selectively, using it only when necessary, and begins to avoid its devastating side effects. Goku realizes that the evil transformation has the ability to absorb the energy of his defeated opponents. This causes the form to become increasingly powerful after each battle, feeding on the very power of its defeated foes. As Goku continues to evolve the evil transformation, he reaches a plateau where he surpasses even the gods of destruction in power. His black and red aura becomes even more intense, and he is able to easily defeat any cosmic challenge. Goku challenges the gods of destruction in a series of epic battles. With his increasingly overwhelming power, he puts the gods in check and forces them to reconsider their position in the universe. They feel threatened by Goku's existence and begin to question the cosmic hierarchy. However, Goku finds himself in a quandary. The evil transformation made him more powerful than ever, but it also alienated him from his essence and his family. He feels he is losing his humanity and connection with his loved ones. Goku is faced with the difficult decision of whether to continue using this form to protect the multiverse or abandon it in search of a balance between his power and his humanity. The saga continues with Goku in search of a solution to the internal conflict that the evil transformation created. He struggles to find a way to use this power without losing his connection to his family, his friends and his sense of justice. 
At the same time, the gods of destruction conspire to eliminate this threat, and the cosmic balance is tipped by Goku's growing power. Thus, the story delves deeper into the duality of power and responsibility, exploring the price Goku must pay to become the most powerful being in the multiverse and how he can strike a balance between protecting the universe and remaining true to himself. Over time, Goku realizes that the evil transformation is not something that can be completely controlled. The lust for power and the rage that fuel it are increasingly overwhelming, and he finds himself increasingly dominated by this sinister form. His friends and family begin to fear what he has become, and even Vegeta, who has always accompanied him in his quest for power, begins to doubt his actions. Overpowered by the evil transformation, Goku begins to believe that the gods of destruction are a threat to the balance of the universe and everything he loves. He becomes convinced that the only way to ensure his world's safety is to eliminate all the gods of destruction and take their place. Goku begins a brutal crusade against the gods, a cosmic battle that shakes the very foundations of the multiverse. He becomes a force of destruction, leaving a trail of chaos and despair in his wake. The deities who once feared his transformation now unite in a last-ditch attempt to stop him, recognizing that Goku has become a greater threat than any they've ever faced. The final battle unfolds on a celestial plane, where Goku takes on the gods of destruction one by one. Each battle is epic and devastating, with Goku overwhelming his opponents thanks to the growing power of his evil transformation. As Goku grows more and more unstoppable, the gods begin to despair, seeing their own end approaching. Even Zeno, the king of all, is unable to contain Goku's unbridled power. The multiverse is on the brink of collapse, and the line between hero and villain is becoming increasingly blurred. At the height of the battle, when it looks like Goku is going to destroy the very fabric of the universe, he sees a vision of his friends and family. Remembering the love and support he received along his journey makes him question his actions. He realizes that in seeking blind revenge he has lost everything that really matters. With a last effort of will, Goku fights the evil transformation, trying to control it one last time. He sacrifices himself to seal away the sinister form and prevent further destruction. The evil transformation is contained, but Goku disappears in the process. The multiverse is saved, but Goku is presumed dead. His story becomes a legend, a story of redemption and sacrifice. The gods of destruction are preserved, but they are left with a lesson in the importance of balance and moderation in their duties. The saga of Goku and his evil transformation becomes one of the darkest and most gripping in Dragon Ball history, reminding us that extreme power can corrupt even the noblest of heroes, and that true strength lies in the ability to choose one's will. Good over evil. Well guys, this was another video on my channel, I hope you enjoyed it, thank you very much for listening, a big hug and see you, bye.